I mentioned Chanel was diagnosed with celiac disease at age three, which was three years ago. She was diagnosed after several attempts of pleading with the doctors to test her for celiacs. Finally, they did. They did an endoscopic biopsy, and sure enough, that was her diagnosis and the cause of so many of her issues. I personally have had my own share of issues, both GI, stomach issues, ugh, and but also chronic migraines. When I was 21, I became very, very sick. I had a migraine that truly never went away for two years. I am talking pain, pressure, dizziness, vomiting, passing out the works. I was a wreck for two years. I even had to change careers from being a dental assistant in the bright rooms, going back to school and becoming an ultrasound technologist just to be in a dark room. I learned to manage my migraines a little bit, but still they would flare up with any added stress. So fast forward though a few years where I learned to cope with migraines and accepted the fact that that was my normal. So when Chanel was diagnosed with celiacs, I realized that I probably would benefit from eating gluten-free as well. So that's what I did. I ate gluten-free right along with her. And guess what? Yeah, I started feeling better and better. It took a few months for me to realize this. So sometimes I would eat out and I would have a bite of gluten because I hadn't been diagnosed after all, so I was free to eat it. But as the time went on, and when I consumed even the smallest amount of gluten, I was sicker than sick and found myself remembering all too well what a true migraine was. So after a year, I went to the doctor and asked, him, asked them to test me for celiac so I could get officially diagnosed. Um, they told me I need to do the gluten challenge, a piece of bread every day for two weeks. Oh, I couldn't do it. After day one, I decided that was the worst idea ever. Well, since I had been gluten-free for a year, my biopsy was inconclusive. My doctor knew that would most likely happen, but she was a listener and she understood celiac disease more than any previous doctor had. So she gave me an unofficial, official diagnosis of celiac disease. One day, I hope and pray that there will be an easier and more accurate way to diagnose celiac disease. My youngest daughter, Sadie, has a similar story to mine except she was a lot younger. She started eating foods about six to eight months like most little babies do, and she started to have really an upset stomach. She was having GI issues as well. And then we were checking in right, her in at the doctor's and she stopped growing. She wasn't growing with the curve. The doctor didn't wanna do a biopsy on a baby so young, so they just encouraged me to have her go gluten-free as well, so I did. She immediately started doing better and to start, and she started to grow. We could tell because she was passing up those clothes every three months you change out. Well, the problem presents itself again. She can't accurately be tested unless she consumes gluten. Well, we didn't wanna risk that on her. So she remained gluten-free as well. It was about a year ago that our family went out to eat at a pizza place near our home, which claimed to be gluten-free and safe. After dinner, both Sadie and Chanel didn't even make it to the car. They both started throwing up and had bloody noses. Randomly, I had a test kit on hand from a company that allows you to test your urine or your stools for consuming gluten. It has to be an equivalent amount of at least like a fourth of a piece of bread um, to show positive. They both tested positive, both Chanel and Sadie. And then I knew without a doubt that Sadie also has celiac disease. So out of a family of six, we have one daughter officially diagnosed with a biopsy and two of us with an unofficial official diagnosis.